Okay, today we are going to be testing some common minerals. Um, there are seven of them. Um, and we are going to be doing the tests of luster, color, streak, hardness, and then you are going to use your mineral chart to decide what mineral you think you have. So, number one, this is mineral number one. Okay. Mineral number one, so you're gonna be writing this for number one. It says number one on your chart. This is your chart. Okay. So first is luster. So when you look at the mineral, you're gonna decide if it is metallic or non-metallic. And then you are going to put whether some other description word. So maybe um, dull or glassy or pearly um, or something like that okay also look, then look at its color look at its color and write that in the color column okay then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test its streak okay so we're seeing what color the mineral streaks when we streak it on a streak plate this is a white streak plate. Okay. You can see the color. And I'm also going to use a black streak plate. Okay. So there you can see the streak. Okay, since the streak rubs off of the streak plates, I know that it is softer than a streak plate, which I would look on my Mohs hardness scale and see that a streak plate is seven. So I'm going to um, actually start pretty low and I'm gonna see if it does anything to my nail. Okay, and when I do that, I can rub it off, which means that it is softer than my nail. So look at your Mohs hardness scale and Figure out what a nail, a fingernail's hardness is, and whether or not um, what hardness you think this mineral is. I don't have to go any further because it is obviously softer than my fingernail. Next is mineral number two. Okay, mineral number two looks like this. Go ahead and look at it. Write its luster and its color. Okay, next is streak. It's a white streak plate. There you can kind of see. I'm also gonna do it on the black streak plate. So down there by the bottom, you can see the streak. And it wipes off, so it is softer than a seven. I'm gonna test my fingernail. And it does leave a scratch on my fingernail, so it is harder than my nail. So I'm gonna go up next to the next hardest thing, which is a copper penny. And it does, you might not be able to see, leave a scratch in copper. So it's harder than that. The next thing is an iron nail, which is this. I'm gonna find a spot on my mineral and it is leaving a mark. So the nail is harder. So look at your Mohs hardness scale and decide which one it is, which what hardness it is. It's in between a nail and a copper penny. Okay, next is mineral number three. This is mineral number three. Go ahead and write down the luster and the color. You could always pause and rewind this video if you need to. Okay. Next, we're gonna do streak. There's my white streak plate. Okay, kinda leaves a 
little bit of a scratch on there. So I'm going to try the black streak plate too. Kind of hard to see, but I left a scratch on there that can I can't wipe it off. Okay, so I know it's harder than a streak plate. Harder than a streak plate. Okay, so I don't need to test any other um, streaks. If you look at this, it's harder than a streak plate. So I know it will be harder than these things as well. Okay, next. That was number three. Next is number four. Here is number four. Mineral number four. Decide whether it is, um, I'm sorry, just write down what its luster is and um, its color. You can always pause. Okay, here's the white streak plate. Down here at the bottom. Black streak plate. Okay, so write down what the streak is. It wipes off, so it's softer than a streak plate. Um, I'm gonna do try it on my nail to see if it's softer than my nail. Kind of does nothing to my nail, and I cannot scratch the mineral with my nail. So if it does nothing to my nail and I can't scratch it with my nail, that means they do nothing to each other. That means they would be equal hardnesses. So go ahead and look at your most hardness scale and figure out the hardness of this mineral. Next is mineral number five. Write the color and the luster. And now I'm going to streak it on the streak plate. It's a black streak plate. You can see it just a little bit there. White streak plate. Very dark. Came off very easy. Okay. So I know it's super, a pretty soft mineral since it made such a dark mark on the streak plate. I'm going to try it on my nail. It draws on my nail and I can wipe it away so it's softer than my thumbnail so I don't need to do any other tests I know it's below the hardness of my thumbnail okay next is number six here's mineral number six write down the luster and the color and the streak. It's kind of hard to wipe these off. Do it up here at the top of the streak plate. See the streak is no color. Go ahead and write down what color that is. And I'm going to use the white one because we know what color it is from the black streak plate. Um, I'm going to try scratching it with my nail because this seems like a pretty soft mineral. You can see that I can scratch it with my nail, so it is softer than my nail. So I don't need to go any do any other hardness tests because I can look and see what the hardness is softer than my nail. The last one, number seven. Here's the mineral. Okay, go ahead and write down the luster and the color. And I'm going to, since this is such a yellow one, I'm gonna, since it's yellow, I think I might have a light streak, so I'm gonna do it on the black. There you go. Really another soft mineral. Let's try it on here. It's almost like breaking off. Okay, go ahead and write down the color of the streak. It's obviously softer than that. I wonder if I could scratch this with my nail. I cannot, so it is harder than my nail. So I'm going to go up to a copper penny 
because that is a thing harder than my nail. Okay, and it comes off. It's softer than the copper penny, but harder than my fingernail. So decide, um, look at your Mohs scale of hardness and decide what hardness this would be. Okay, you, in class you will be given, or um, you can use the online version of the mineral identification sheet in Google Classroom to um, try to identify all of these minerals um, that we just tested. Okay, and remember you can rewind this video if you need to, to fig try to figure it out or um, redo something if you think you got it wrong on your sheet.